Right, you guys, got another video. Quite a few people have asked me, is Windows 11 25 H2 out and can you get it? And the answer to that is this is how you can get it right now. If you want to get the official Windows 11 25 H2 ISO from Microsoft, then you're going to have to do this. Unfortunately, right now, you can't get it from the download page because you can see it's still for Windows 11 24 H2, but shortly... Microsoft will release this to the general public, uh, but they have released the actual ISO inside the Insider Preview program where you can download it. Unfortunately, on that note, you will have to sign into a Microsoft account to be able to download the ISO, and that might be a deal breaker for some people. But if you're one of those people that want to get it right now and you want to test it and play around with it, well, you don't have to join the Windows Insider program. You just have to sign into the Microsoft account here and then stay signed in. And this will give you access to the Windows Insider preview downloads page. Inside here, you'll get all the information you need about the releases that Microsoft allow you to download via this page right here. You will need to stay signed in when you're downloading. Once you've downloaded it, you can sign out. But right down the bottom here, let me come down to the part where it says important here. You can read all of this information right here, or you can select what version of download that you want. The one I'm going to go for is the Windows 11 Insider Preview, and this is for the release preview channel. This is the very latest version, which I want to download here on the computer. If you want some earlier releases, there's ones listed right here, like beta and dev channel and stuff like that. But I'm going to be going for this one right here and you'll be able to install this onto the system and have a mess around with it and use it as your operating system. Now, there is some risk uh, installed in these versions because these haven't been fully tested and released to the general public. This is for testing purposes, the Insider Preview releases. So bear that in mind if you're looking to use this as your daily driver machine, your main PC. Once you select which language you want here, it will then give you the access to the ISO file, which you can then download and install. Now, to build a bootable USB flash drive, you can use something like Rufus or something like that if you wanted to and be able to boot up to that and install it onto a system. Or you can grab that ISO file and use it on VMware uh, Workstation or use it on uh, VirtualBox or you can use it on any other type of uh, virtual machine software that you want to test it on. If you have an old PC laying around, maybe you want to test it on there and take a look at it. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this version of Windows 11 is going to be more stable and bug-free compared to what Windows 11 24H2 has been. So that's my hope. Uh, when they officially release this, you will see it come up in your Windows 10 uh, page there will be listed there where you'll be able to download the ISO file there and that means it is now ready for public use. It'll also be pushed out into your Windows update section where you'll be able to da download it from there as well and that means also this is now being released to the general public through the Windows updates program but as it stands right now this is the only way you can get the official ISO from Microsoft on the Windows Insider page. So let me know your thoughts if you are going to give this a test and hopefully it's going to be better than Windows 11 24H2. It's quite a big file. It's about seven gigabytes in size. I'm not so sure why that's so big, but you can rename the file to whatever you like here. But it is quite a big ISO file compared to previous versions of Windows 11. Maybe it's not been compressed down or something. I really don't know. I'll have to wait and see what the final release will be from Microsoft when they release it to the general public. But moving forward, I just hope that this version of Windows 11 is really stable and we're not going to have major problems with this version of Windows when the Microsoft release it into the world for the general public to use and install onto their system. Because let's face it, Microsoft have been having a pretty hard time of late with their bugs and problems that they've had with their versions of Windows. Anyway, but that said, just a quick video today. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Enjoy your Sunday, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.